Hello and welcome to this dazzling and amazing edition of Weekly Bone Outdoors. My name is Marco Hanna, your lovely, lovely host here at PhoneDog.com and the YouTube channel. But first, before I get started, let me catch my breath because I've been running all day. And by the way, Aaron Baker, it is on. You gotta, you gotta be careful, man. I'm used to saying Bolt. It's cousin. Let's get started. As a video producer, I like to start little and work all the way back up to the biggest part of the news. So the first off is actually not pretty little at all because this is BlackBerry's flagship device. It is the BlackBerry Z10. And finally, Verizon has announced the availability of the Z10 on their network. It will be available for pre-order March 14th and it will be for sale on March 28th. $199 will get you a brand new BlackBerry Z10. It will be coming in white and black. White is particularly exclusive to Verizon Wireless. I bet you're sick and tired of listening about the HTC One. Aaron has covered the whole device basically in a million videos. Actually, it's not that bad. But still, some more HTC One news from our own Aaron Baker again. He did a snapshot review, which means he put all the spots that he could possibly put in into a short clip to make your life a lot easier and your viewing pleasure even more. Obviously, everything you know about the HTC One is out there. It's a 4.7-inch device. It's full HD. It has one of the best quad-core Snapdragon S. 600 processors that's inside that phone and also it's built out of entirely aluminum metal and glass which makes it on par with the iPhone 5 some people actually say that it's past the iPhone 5 in build quality Aaron took a snapshot review and pointed out the features of the build quality and also that beautiful display 1080p to pixel density is very up there it is over 450 pixels per inch because the display is a little bit smaller than that 5 inch display on the HTC Droid DNA and now the Samsung Galaxy S4 HTC One will be coming to AT&T Sprint and T-Mobile no Verizon announced yet hopefully we'll see an HTC Droid One on Verizon's network because in my opinion Verizon will be missing out a whole bunch of greatness from the HTC One. I usually don't like to talk about lawsuits or anything, but there's another lawsuit to Apple, but surprisingly, it's not from HTC or Samsung. This time, it's from THX. Yeah, that big thing that says, well, when you see the noise when you're going to the movies. Yep, that company is suing Apple over a speaker design infringement. Not the speaker itself, the design of it, the little holes in the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, and iPhone 5, a couple iPad models, and a couple iMac models are being infringed over THX's patent over the little holes for the speaker grill. It's a little weird, but I can see where they're coming from. Apple and THX have until May 14th to see if they could settle the differences between themselves and not have it go in the court of law, but if they don't reach an agreement, it will be a court Thing. It will be a court action and we'll see who will come out on top. Obviously, we don't know anything yet. Apple and THX are most likely talking right now and seeing what will happen, but we will report to you as soon as possible, as soon as we figure out on PhoneDog.com and the next edition of Weekly Bone here on the PhoneDog YouTube channel. Now, as I said, I like to start small and build up to the biggest news of them all. Yes, Apple. No. The Samsung Galaxy S4. Yes, it was announced. It was launched last Thursday in New York City in sort of a Broadway special sort of event. There is a giant row in the world of women from Samsung saying that they were being racist and sexist against women, but we will gloss all over that because the big news of that all is the Samsung Galaxy S4. For the first time, in my opinion, Samsung didn't really change much of the Galaxy S4. Sure, it's a five inch display. Sure, it's a super AMOLED HD 1080p display. And and it has new processor, new software upgrades, but honestly, it looks exactly the same as the Samsung Galaxy S3. Basically, it's a five inch display, which means it's bigger than the Samsung Galaxy S3, but it's smaller than the Note 2. So basically the Note 2 and the Galaxy S3 sort of something, and they made the Galaxy S3. The Galaxy S4 is basically a very monstrous device. In America, the Samsung Galaxy S4 will be coming as a Snapdragon S4 600 processor at 1.9 gigahertz. In other places, we will expect a 1.6 octa core, which means eight cores, as if you know octa means in math, eight cores, and it's rated at 1.6 gigahertz, which means this thing will be incredibly, incredibly quick. Now, you obviously didn't think that we'd only talk about the Galaxy S4. For no, 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 no. Our own Aaron Baker flew out to New York City to talk, to play, to sing, to dance, 
and supply hair gel to the folks of New York City and Samsung to get around with the Samsung Galaxy S4. He got a little time with it, talked about it, had a little video, and showed his thoughts and feelings about the software and the hardware. And basically, the software has a little bit more tweaks, makes the phone a little bit easier to use, acts as more shortcuts, and the hardware is obviously going to be Samsung. It still feels pretty plasticky, but the hardware that's packed inside is very, very, very strong. Samsung did also tell us about the carrier support. It will be coming on all four major carriers. That means AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. It will also be coming on Cricket and US Cellular. Pricing and availability has not really been announced, but it will be coming in Q2 of this year. So please, please stay tuned for the Galaxy S4 review from Aaron Baker and also all the great content from Phone Dog. But my name is Marco Hanna from PhoneDog.com. I'm going to get back to running so I can beat Aaron's butt, and I will see you guys in the next video.